Welcome to this tutorial of the seven segment display. What's a seven segment display? That's a display that's considered about seven sec seven segments. So we have segment A on the top, B on the left, C on the right, D in the middle, then on the lower part we have E, F and G. These are seven segments we can control. Um, then we have a control unit and I set up this segment display to display numbers. So if we for example say the number one, so we're just gonna do that. The number one is quite simple to do, so let me just check where number one is. So this is the one that's here. So if the amount of chests equals one, then it will allow everything to pass that goes in here going out. What goes in there is a, is a C and an F signal. As you just thought, the C was on the right side and the F was here. So this will allow the amount of chests, which is one, which we don't need, and C and an F. So if C and F light up, it means a one. If we now set up the signal to be a two, for example, the same story happens for two, but instead of this decider combinator, it will be this one. So if the a number of wooded chest is equal to two, it will send the signals A, C, D, E and G, which make this nice too. This of course you can do for every number, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And for the numbers, for, um, for a zero, you need of course A, B, C, E, F and G. For one, you need C and F. For two, you need A, C, um, sorry, for a two, you need A, C, D, E, and F, uh, G, sorry. For the number three, you need A, C, D, F, and G. For the number four, you need um, B, C, D, and F. We'll just continue doing this. For the number um, five, you need A, B, D, F, G. For the number six, you need A, B, D, E, F, G. For number seven, you need A, C, F. For the number 8, you need A, B, C, D, E, F, G. For the number 9, you need A, B, C, D, F, G. This way, you can control every number that's between 1 and 9. But if the number is bigger than 9, it doesn't work. So this only works when it is this number. You can also add a control unit, like this row. Uh, all blueprint strings of the one segment display and of the multiple segment display and about this huge thing that does r really weird stuff but it will go on later it will display some nice things and uh, why this would be useful I also have something here you want to show you at the end of the video so stay tuned so what this does if we have a signal that's for example 12 for, first it goes in here and uh, does the signal we have minus the iron number of iron chests. The iron chest going in is nothing because this is not not hooked up. Why is that? Because uh, I wanted the same system on the left as the right side. So this is just useful, uh, useless. And for this one, it will uh, see a purpose. So the same signal is going in, then it go going out. Then it divides that signal by 100 and output that by a wooden chest. Uh, this run that it, this number will be round up downwards, meaning that if you have a number like 12 divided by 100, it will be less than 1, so it would not output a signal. Um, and then it will, uh, for example, if we have 1, 2, 3, uh, it will output 1. So 123 divided by 100 would be 1. One would we put it into this segment display, so this display will set one. Then we do that number times a hundred. That number we do plus the normal uh, the we do that number plus iron chest, which we don't need. Uh, we would talk about later, which we don't need right now. But we will do that plus the amount of iron chest, and we'll put that along, and then it will output a hundred again. So that meaning that it already showed here 100 points uh, 100 so it does not need to show that 100 then on this side we do uh, 123 minus that 100 because we already show the 100 part 
So 23 is left. We only need to show 23 on the next displays. We divide that number by 10, it would be 2. We put in 2, so this will display 2. Then it will times the number, uh, does the 2 times 10. So that will be 20, and then it does the 20 plus the 1 here before will be 120. So we already displayed 120. So we in here, we have uh, the 123 minus the 120 we already displayed and outputting a wooden chest would be 123 minus 120 would be 3. So it's displaying a tree right here. That's how this system works. Of course there's some things like this one that can go away but this system is stackable in the way it is now right now. Really note that this number 100 and 100 should be the same and should be every time you add one for example for this display we have 10 here, uh, 100 here, 1000 there, 10,000, 100,000 and then 1 million because we want to show more digits. Don't forget to change that because yeah I did that. Also um, I don't really like it readable so what you could do is uh, um, also uh, no what first is <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. But uh, of course you don't want it to show you only wooden chest. So if we made that chest, for example, with what we have, I don't know, blue belts. We have um, this amount of blue belts, 472. So we do the, either you could do express belt or you could do each plus zero. I really like to do the way like express belt plus zero because if you have for example more going in right here like this one if we hook it up to this one it will display some random stuff and then output in chest as you can see on the right side it will output this amount of chest make sure to claw up the wires like that then it will output that number into chest and will display how much blue belts I have right here as you can see uh, what we could do then, because this is less readable, what you can also do is add a decider. And uh, if you want to do it the simple way around, that I think is the most simple, what you just do is um, make an, another network, like red network, that I'm just booking, like that. Then also put this one down. Then add the network to this one. Oh no, we don't need that to do it. And add that red network to the one that's up there. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. That's wrong. I did it correctly the first way around. Um, so what this will do is make a sort of one-way gate. So we add that to the normal one above, this one to the normal one above, and then we say anything that goes in plus zero goes out. It sounds a bit strange, but if we set a signal like green here, green will go here, green will be plus one, so green will put out, green would put in here, and if it's displaying a number, it will display it in that color. So this way you can change the color of your of your setup, which I also used right there. Which is nice, because you make, make it a little bit more readable, but I still have problems reading this kind of stuff my person, um, myself. So what I did, what I really like, if you uh, enlight that with uh, other lights, and connect and connect it up all uh, to the system, which is with normal lights. You can get the, pro uh, the, 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 the dots, I think. So we just hook that up a little bit. It's a bit messy how we hook stuff up, but it doesn't matter. You can a little bit clearer see the the, the the number. As you can see right here, these numbers are easier to read for me than these numbers. Then, where would this be useful for, you ask me? Well, uh, for this kind of stuff. What this basically does is not set up pro properly, but uh, I have a logo. So this, uh, all these lights have an, uh, an integer, so if it's, it's, it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so every light I can control. Then I have a memory cell here. This is a memory cell for INR. So we'll come on shortly. Then the lights uh, 8, 4 and, and that kind of stuff needs to turn on also more to turn on these lights. Let's light together uh, will create 
uh, image right here. So it's now displaying one of those that's our memory and will display an image. Also, I put in a color through, so it will display a color, and you can see it right now. This is copper ore, and also uh, this is a system that uh, does some, some kind of stuff. Um, this will be in a separate tutorial, maybe if you ask for it down below. This will be sure later on in the tutorial how to switch numbers from a power pole. As you can see on the right, it's switching between some things to display. So I have a big input and it's just switching between some certain items that I set up. And then we have a big display with the numbers right here. This will display the amount. So iron ore, it's 21,000 iron ore. Uh, stone ore, 21,000. Copper plates, 46,000. Iron plates, 56,000. This way you have a nice display of what's going on. But something, um, but let's go on. Something that uh, I used it's maybe more practical for you to understand because this is quite difficult to do uh, and uh, I may include a blueprint in the description so you can check her out. There's also some problems with the uh, lights going off that's because I set up these uh, signals wrong. Don't worry about that. Um, we have this kind of stuff. So if we just have that display we write here that writes hundreds of numbers. If you come back that down a little bit. Uh, I did a tutorial on uh, in the below system already. And it's a power dip detector if you want to see that up, uh, up there right up um, if you click that or just go down the description and search for the links I can display uh, I, I can explain to you how that works but if we take the signal from an uh, accumulator put it in here so basically that accumulator starts but we put it in here then this will do each plus so you can see it's already walking up so you can see the level of uh, the current power level in accumulator language uh, displaying right here so this is quite nice but um, you, this digit will never show um, 2, 3, 4, 5 because this will be 100% so that's why this one looks compacter because I included one right here that does that stuff that makes this one light up when G is 0 bit, bit strange, a little bit strange but doesn't matter I tricked the system to make it a little bit compacter. There's also dip system right here that I told you you can go right up there. Click the link if you want because it's really cool. Um, this will remember the amount of power that was during the night, uh, which I think is really useful because you can see how much light you had during uh, the night. So uh, this would be it for the, this tutorial and I really hope you learn something useful and I hope to see you another time soon. If you have ideas, questions, go down in the comments and I will likely probably answer you. But for now, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.